So I'm thinking since this is our sort of path up, it's going to have to be. This is probably a natural place for a gatehouse. So what I'll start with is I'll find that level again. Where? Okay, so this is our level. I don't know. I don't think. No, we didn't. Uh, we didn't use. We didn't need to use it over here, which is good. But we are going to need to use it over here because we want to use that mossy anytime we're building a foundation. So I'll just go ahead and lay that out from the beginning this time. I'm grabbing my, myself some mossy, and I want to center it on this tower. Because in this case, what we have is a tower that is, or I should say a, uh, a wall that's going to be three thick, and the walking is going to happen here. And so if we go ahead and we just figure out the height based on what's it, what it's going to take to get down here, and you can see I already messed it up, um, that's really going to help us. Because then I don't have to do a lot of fancy math. All I have to do is lay down the blocks that are right. Hello, Mr. Creeper. He's pretty excited about this. You can tell. So, once again, foundation. We're going to try to use mossy. snow out here just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and I think as tempting as it is to build that up I think I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out is that something that would have made sense in the original for them to dig down for their entryway and we want this to be a nice impressive entryway so even though the the, the gatehouse is gonna have a little uh, area for a man to stand right here and do his thing. I think that uh, if they're if they come up with the winding staircase here and then, then they have to turn sideways here, I think it would be a good thing for them to come through. Right here. So there's the standing room. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's taking tickets. Maybe he's shooting you with the arrow or something. But regardless, this will be his kind of his window. Just fill in the areas here. Give it a little bit of holiness every so often. Go. 
go. And then we can start building up our gatehouse. Which, I want this to be a very impressive gatehouse. Even in the old castle, I think that... Uh, they, you know, security would be important. And I don't think that would be unreasonable of a request of the, the old king. Especially if he was, you know, the evil bad guy that we were talking about before. So let's see, this is four wide right now. Five, five, well, if, if we do five, then um, we can't really have a peak, but we could definitely have an arch. Um, six, we could have a peak. But I'm not sure the arch would look as good. So let's do this. Let's build this up where we want it to be. We'll start our arch. And what we'll do... Give a little bit of a hint of the old wall here. How it used to look. And I'm thinking this needs to be a much more fortified wall over here. So as as we're looking through these, maybe we want slits instead of full. So one of the ways that you can do that really kind of neat. So as long as you've got this here, you can have a slit window. Ah. So that's happy. And then we can we can go ahead and do that again. Oops. There we go. And there's a slit window. So it kind of gives us a, a hint that maybe this was uh, a continuing pattern. There we go. All right, so back to what we're doing here. In order for it to be imposing enough, we need to be have like, I don't know, five or maybe six. And I think that's good. I think that's a nice, nice area. And we'll just use the natural shape of this one block, the upside down and over tendencies of it. So I guess my question still is, do I want to bring it over one? 
And I think the answer is, yes, I do. But what I also want is some iron bars right here in the middle. I want it to look like a drop gate. And by doing it in the middle like this, I think that we can achieve that without too much fuss. That'll look all right once it's up there. But actually, if I do that, that can work. I, I might even be able to have a bit of a railing. And you know what? I think I will. Because what you've got is you, you've got your guys. They Obviously, they come up here. They get down here. He says, who goes there? He says, I am the king, uh, and I seek the Holy Grail. And they say, uh, you know, tell your master that he can join us. And you say, okay, I will, but I don't think he'll be too keen. He's hard to get one, you see. Um, and so forth. Anyway. Uh, Let's finish this guy off here. And this is just hiding a little bit and giving it a little bit of a recess. So I think we have our answer. We're going to just do it one block. Missing all over the place suddenly. And forgotten what did we do on this one? Oh, okay, yeah. That seems to make some sense. And then steps on the other side too. can't put the steps the direction I want them to because I don't have anything to anchor it, but I'll get there. These will be normal, so. There we go. Just about at the point here, we can drop down. Double check our work, excellent. Don't forget, it drops down to mossy. Oh, and I missed. I'm wondering if there's something I can put down as a texture that's different from that mossy. Um, I could lay down bedrock, but that'd be a little cheating. Dark oak wood planks. Um, I 
just for the sake of the texture. Yes. That is exactly what I was looking for. Alright. I've lost my steps again. There we go. I learned where they are. Sorry for me. That's a bad idea. That's what I was going for. Kind of imply that there was a roof here at one time. Excellent. Next, thank you, Mr. Enderman. Whoever left that. I'm feeling the need for a window right here. good. Which means it would be one here. It's been a while since I've had a complete window. An essentially complete window. I 
And just so I don't forget to do it. I'm going to go ahead and put torches here. All right, so what's begging to be over here? Why, of course, a circular. A circular tower. What else? Little tower. Okay, there needs to be a tower right here. There needs to be a tower right here. And there needs to be something to connect those towers. 